Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Batman the Brave and the Bold, where uh, apparently now Blue Beetle is on the main title screen. Uh, before we had unlocked him, he wasn't even there. It was just Batman and Robin. Also, uh, something to note is I am currently a sick man. Allergies. Or sinuses. Or a combination of the both are getting the better of me. So I hope I don't sound too nasally, too terrible, worse than usual, uh, today. Get ready to deliver some justice. Either way, I am still ready to deliver some justice. Uh, we used Aquaman last time. Got a, uh, flooded the area with lots Twitter of fish. Here, let's let's move on to Green Arrow. I should really remember to use my summons more often because you can you get like an, a summon like two to three times per level, and you get a, a special so attack. Rod's gotten inside yet? Keep an eye out for signs. You mean like banana peels, tree branches, issues of Popular Gorilla Monthly? More like piles of wreckage and debris. Rod and his gorillas aren't very subtle. Check. We should keep a lookout for banana peels too, though. And copies of uh, oh of uh, Gorilla Monthly. All of these things are signs to look out for. I do not appreciate the fact that these robots have giant explosions upon death. Um, I are, there's a banana peel. Do you slip on a banana peel if you walk into it? See? Banana peel. Called it. Okay. Ape alert. I found some wreckage. You were right. I guess they beat us inside. It certainly appears so. We should be able to bust right through this. We could tidy up later. What did I hit? Oh, probably an explosive. All right, Rob. Uh, not Robin. Blue Beetle. Get it! Ah, uh, you're not high enough. I tried. Is that a moving? Yeah, that is. Ah. Oh no, these are uh, the blue beetles that are guarding this facility from the apes. More wreckage. I got this one, Batman. Step aside and watch these pistons do their thing. Ready, Scarab? The wreckage is too thick. All you'll do is let everyone know where we are. Let's find another way. Uh, are you sure? Because I think I can... Come on. What if I'm really quiet? Just one piston. I've seen your pistons. They're not quiet. This seems to be a, a theme here for uh, criticizing Blue Beetle. Because, like, this, the previous level was all about, like, hey, why don't we just fly in here? And he's like, oh, I've seen your... I've seen your fly. Ah. Either way, it looks like... I have the ability to... resuscitate... Why is Grodd so obsessed with technology anyway? He's a criminal mastermind who rules his city based on the idea that he's the smartest one in it. Technology equals intelligence in his eyes. That, and he likes shiny things. So Grodd's some kind of super genius, right? The talking didn't give it away. And what about the rest of the apes? Are they super intelligent too? I mean, I've seen them use guns, but I've also seen them scratch their butts for 10 minutes. I wouldn't say genius, but all gorillas from Gorilla City possess an above average level of intelligence. What? <laughs> Gorilla City? That's where they live? What was the name, Monkey Town taken? <laughs> yes. Monkey they're even smarter than some humans I know. Yeah, but if they're just, hey, <laughs> I got that, you know. Real funny. Ah. Ah, damn it. Okay, summoning green arrow. You line them up, and I'll knock them down. Gotcha! Perfect shot as usual. See ya, bats. It's a perfect shot if you're aiming for the entire screen. Ah, no. Ah, oh, son of a... 
Alright, is that low enough? Almost. There we go. Maybe that one was hovering back and forth and I might have been able to... Nah, I don't think I was close enough. Take a break from all the walking and fighting. Should we go up or down? We're on the ground floor, Jaime. I knew that. So, up then? <sighs> How does that thing work, anyway? It creates an electromagnetic pulse that's converted into waves, amplifying each other in a cyclical formation until the device reaches a critical mass. Ah, yes, right. of course, of course. I think I've got something like that. Here, let me try again. I, 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 oh! <sighs> you know what? Maybe you should keep doing it. Good idea. I have no idea what you tried to do, sir, but it did not work. At the very least, I can easily just switch back to the battering, get rid of these bombs. <laughs> Battery. Ah. This is probably the most um, tiresome aspect of the game. It is just the repetition of floating bomb things. That is something I'm, I'd be a little bit concerned that it's going to be a, um, a theme, not just in the first two areas, but also, like, everybody's going to employ floating bombs. Looks like we need to split up to get this thing open. You want to take high or low? I... You know what? Let me take high. I've got the wings. By the way, you think these wings look cool, right? I, you know, I was meaning to ask you. I was worried they might come off a little mm, fairy princess or something, you know? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but if I'm going to get my own action figure, I really need to start thinking about which... I may. Yeah? You need to start thinking about moving. Right. Way ahead of you, Batman. Well, way above you anyway. Let's go. Yeah. Do your thing. That was a lot of conversation just to push two buttons. No one escapes justice. Especially when you're stuck in a corner. Oh no! Everybody escaped justice. Um Robin. All right. You line him up, and I'll knock him down. Bullseye. Perfect shot as usual. See you, bats. Oh my gosh. That didn't hit him. So, when Blue Beetle gets knocked out, the suit disappears, oh, leaves him down in his... I need a lair. ...in his Every briefs. has one. You've got the bat cave somewhere, right? Yes. Well, you think the old blue beetle would mind if I set up shop here? Since we share the same name and all. I hear it's got a pretty bad gorilla infestation. Try to stay focused. I didn't mean now. Like, after the gorilla infestation. Once, like, he, he's got to clean up all these banana peels. Maybe he'll lose interest, uh... Yeah. Uh, thank you, blue beetle, for being my explosive shield. We're a little bit closer to this seems much more straightforward than the first mission because the first mission there was all there's more of the mystery going on and it's like um what's Catman trying to do? Like everybody's arguing like Batman and Robin were arguing whether it was Bat uh, Catman or Catwoman, and it turned out to be Catwoman rather than cat just Catman by themselves. So I wonder if there's going to be more to this mystery than just Grodd the evil gorilla. You want to know what's um, really shocking? Me. Takes over the island and then we fight him. Like, is is there going to be more to a? Uh... The complex. We need to get to the control room. It's what Grodd will be searching for. There's a control room. Why wasn't I told this? If we can get there before him, we can turn on the rest of the complex's security measures and put everything in a lockdown state. That should drive Grodd and his soldiers out of the complex. What happens if he gets there before us? Don't ask. 
Um, they'll be turn they'll turn on the security features and then we'll have to deal with them because we aren't dealing with enough automated robots. Eh. Though I would not be surprised if we find ourselves having to fight these uh, blue beetle AIs. Ah. Oh, sweet. Ah. Nope. Ah, that was Mr. Freeze up there. Damn it. This game can be relatively uh, inconsistent when it comes to grappling points. Like, you can only grapple onto very specific ledges. And other ledges, you just can't. Grab. There we go. Ah, that's a crowd. <laughs> Excellent. When the summon is just so all encompassing, just too many enemies are in the screen to uh, even survive it. Yeah, we're doing pretty well, I suppose. Well, Beetle, I don't know how well you're doing. At the very least, you're not getting blown up by dead robots on the hey, floor. Can I ask you something? Yes. Hero question. Sure. How do you keep yourself from getting a wedgie in your costume? And this thing's always riding up on me, and it's a little too snug in, you know, those delicate places. You know what I mean? I'm just used to wearing baggy clothes at school. My outfit is made out of armor plating and synthetic fibers, not a bug on my back. A bug that can hear everything you're saying, I might remind you. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. No offense. Maybe you could ask the bug on your back to not give you as many wedgies. That would be a good a good start. Like, if... That is... Yeah, there's a lot about the Blue Beetle that I do not know. Which is about everything. Everything about the Blue Beetle is something that I do not know. Like, the, uh, the fact that it is an actual living thing. Which, like, how, like, Venom is to Eddie Brock, is like a living, conscious symbi. Like, uh, how conscious or sapient is uh, the Blue Beetle? Oh, hold on. No nope, crap. Or just punch, that's fine. Ah. He's got them battle toads long punches. Sorry. Sorry, Beetle. Actually, I'm not sorry. I lied. Watch out for the electrified floor. Where? The one you're about to walk onto. Oh. Oh, right. Thanks for the heads up. I'll just not go down there then. Good plan. Yeah. Can I... No, that one requires... How do I... S there we go. Let me show you how it's done. That requires ghostly punching power. Which is something that I haven't taken advantage of yet. 
despite the fact that I paid for all of the upgrades. And this thing is able to pull in coins. Okay, let's go back here, grab the health item that I walked by because I was too busy pulling in coins. Wait, if that wasn't the path forward, okay, the path down is the path forward. Sometimes it's always a little bit tricky when you have a game that has pits that you can fall into that you're not supposed to fall into. Yeah, I'm stuck in a corner. Might as well pull in the summon. Oh no! Almost dead. All right. Yeah, this is faster than just trying to switch to the battering. Is it? Maybe not. Ah, it's Grodd. Hello, Grodd. I see you hanging so around. Before, when you said it would be a bad thing if Grodd beat us here, how bad were you thinking? Pretty bad. Really bad? As in, he now controls every robot in the complex. I was afraid of that. Ah, so the heroes have arrived. But let's continue our chat in a more comfortable setting. Is that setting at the bottom of a pit? Where blue beetles, uh, or should I say previous blue beetles, uh, robots are off to kill us? All right, let's see what we can upgrade. Welcome to the gadgets rack, Batman. Please make a selection. Would you like to upgrade this gadget? Yes. This gadget has now been up. This gadget has now been upgraded. Get ready to deliver some justice. Deliver justice, one fist at a time. Although I suppose now that I've got a fully upgraded stun gun, it, I haven't really been using the stun gun. Like, like the items, I, I don't really use very much in combat, and that's something that I should consider uh, fixing. Ah! Ow! Lousy monkey. See, I can fly whenever I want, I just have to be ready to fly. That's the thing. Ah, much better. This is where the magic happens, I take it. Thank you for telling me about this place, Blue Beetle. Without you, I might have missed out on one of the world's technological treasures. Yeah? Well, don't get cozy, Grodd. Batman and I are here to kick you and your monkeys out on your shiny red butts. <laughs> Monkeys! Smooth, Jaime, but you're thinking of baboons. Oh, right. So I suppose you're gonna make these machines smash us now that you control them. Now why would I let the machines have all the fun? Alright. Ah! Watch it. Nope, doesn't work against the gorilla. I will crush you! Ah, damn it. Ah! Sit still. A little too slow, hero. Get smashed. I will not get smashed. I will punch you from the back because that seems to be the most effective strategy. Ah, again. Did you really think that would hurt me? No, I thought I was going to be able to avoid you. Ah! I'm taking way too much damage. Yeah. He keeps getting back up! He's too powerful to defeat now. Just keep running and hopefully we can find a way out of here. Can I? Can I run? That's the thing, I can't run though. 
And if I can't run, like, what are you... Uh, okay, let's switch to... Your attacks are worthless. I feel nothing. Ah. Uh. Stop that. You're annoying me. Also, the game explains that I would have a certain amount of revives, but it seems like that's not a mechanic I actually need to worry about. Or do I just lose coins when I die? It's less about needing the coins when I die. It's more that I lose coins when I die. I think that might be the case. Which means I have unlimited lives. But considering this is more of like a, a family-oriented game, it makes sense. to defeat now. Just keep running and hopefully we can find a way out of here. Okay. This section is going on for a little longer than I like, but that is okay. We will deal somehow. Ouch. Yeah, this gorilla is quite the punch sponge. No, no, damn it. There I go again. He keeps getting back up. I know. He's too powerful to defeat. I know he's too Just powerful to defeat now. We can find a way out of here. Ah. I will crush you. All right. So is wow. he's pretty tough when he wants to be. I yeah, you two had fought before. especially since the first time we fought, it only took like three punches. That was really more of a laser battle. Not to mention he and his monkey sort of cheated. You want to get technical about it? So Grodd got away. Well, yes, but I got the money back. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, but we're gonna have to deal with Grodd somehow. The Flash has been unlocked. ready to deliver some justice. Like, I wasn't expecting a straightforward call, victory, but it does seem flash. like there isn't really anything too mysterious going on in the background. Unless there's something going on with Blue Beetle's old technology. Like, we still haven't found the, like, something interesting that Grodd might use uh, to power himself up. Other than general science stuff. What we need to find now is a hard-lined computer terminal so I can download the schematics. Hey, I'm kind of like a computer terminal, right? You want me to zap you with this? Yeah, I'm gonna go with a big no on that. Computer terminal. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled and your mind <laughs> focused. Literally. Aw. Maybe we should go back to the control room. Right now, we've broken the security. Or smash the control room to pieces. Either way, ah. being there won't have a safe control. So what do we do? Get down here so I can punch you. Ah. Don't go blown up. Excellent. Nah, I don't think I need energy right now. Oh, hello. Hey, I'm 
down, little guys. We're on the same team. Check out the blue. Grodd set up the system to defend against us and protect him and his gorillas. Guess we lost our backup, huh? Let's try to avoid detection. We need to travel where Grodd can't monitor us. Service tunnels and wiring shafts. Bathrooms? What? It's illegal to have cameras in there. Yeah, it's probably illegal to have cameras in a bathroom, but this is Blue Beetle's private island. What is that? I don't think I have that tool myself. I think maybe Blue Beetle has that. Really? Super intelligent? That one's eating a jar of mustard. I may. Right. Sorry. Excellent. I have dealt with the menace. Ah. All right. Those were very tiny yet ineffective bugs. I would imagine if you're fighting in like a group, because it does seem like they slow you down. That's good enough. I'm accessing the layout now. Once we have that, we can use it to locate the central core. Central core? Like an Apple core? Basically, mm. the central core is a small data mainframe that runs everything in the complex. And why the heck didn't we go there first? I was hoping we wouldn't have to. The device is about the size of a bowling ball. Anyone in possession of it has the ability to control any electrical object within a hundred feet. Really? That sounds wicked. Okay, there's the MacGuffin that we were looking for. Thing, once we find it, there's this pinball machine that's really been kicking my butt on campus. Come on. Need some help, kid? Yes, I do. Give me a call, and I'll be there in a flash. Uh, he said the line, Bart. All right, now let's hope I can get some health. Oh yeah, and I still haven't stunned anybody. Okay, this is a crowd. Nope, let's not get blown up. And you... Alright, that, that went pretty well, considering. Alright, anything up there worth looking into? I guess there's an energy rope. Like, we need health refill, not... Not necessarily energy refill, so we can hold off. No. Don't want to get blown up. Yeah, let, let's use uh, the flash. Why not? It can't hurt. Give me a call, and I'll be there in a flash. 
Well, it can't hurt me. Ah, it did hurt me. I spoke too soon. Carry onward, deeper in towards the core sinister. of the beetle complex. Uh, let us take... Let's see, we took the Flash with us last time. Next would be Have the Black Canary. Things are about to get loud. I wonder if you, you'll get to see every single character on this loading screen in the game. Ah, it's the bugs! See, that's probably a pit you die falling into. Or should I say, at the very least, lose some health. Hey, no fair. See, I feel like these flying enemies, at the very least, they're kind of funny. Because, like, they have these big emotion emoticons to kind of give themselves give themselves expressions, as opposed to like the bombs that just kind of float around. You can get closer, you know. Ah, all right. Cover those ears, boys. Cover those ears. Things are about to get loud. It's been real, boys. Excellent. It is, it is kind of fun how, like, like the entire, like, there's just too much going on for the Wii. And that's the thing. I think for the longest time, I have very much undervalued the Wii. Um... I, I Have you ever noticed all these complexes are built like a video game? Uh, think about it. I mean, we're walking down a hallway. Oh, there's a door. But you gotta hit those three switches to open it. Dead end. Guess we have to backtrack. Oh, look! A new passage opened up. Now we just... I A. Yeah. This is not a video game. Now, please, try to stay focused and keep the chatter to a minimum. Focused. Minimum chatter. Got it. Oh, no. The fourth wall. It lays broken at her feet. But yeah, uh, like for the longest time, I considered the Wii to be more of like a GameCube with motion controls. Uh, in that it wasn't really a, a big hardware jump for Nintendo, technically. And it always, it felt like a kind of a gimmick for the longest time. Then I played Super Mario Galaxy 2, and my entire, my opinion completely changed. Um, I realized that... It, a game doesn't necessarily need to have technical achievement. And I think there was a while in which um, the games industry was trying to chase that ideal. Like the ideal of the, the high fidelity as the end all, be all of, uh, of gaming platforming. Like back in the day when games were being released, that were, that, with requirements that couldn't be met by modern PCs of its own time. Like Doom 3, or like uh, Crisis, most notably, where like the maximum settings just couldn't even really be uh, hit by almost every PC in the market. Or by Cyberpunk, which plays like absolute garbage unless you have, happen to have a higher end PC. But that's a different story. <laughs> but I th like I think Super Mario Galaxy 2 
really taught me the idea that if Grodd finds the central core before we do, what's plan B? Finding the central core is plan B. So what if we can't? Don't think like that, Jaime. A hero has to stay optimistic. You can't just hope for the best uh, outcome. You have to believe you can actually accomplish it. I could be optimistic. Um, the next time I see Grodd, I'm gonna drop a robot on him. See? Totally optimistic. Good. I guess that that's a start. And I think that's something that, like, the industry has, as a whole has kind of gotten back into, especially as indie games have uh, been increasing in popularity. Like, you don't necessarily need the most technically flashy game. Like, in order to have something that's successful. Like, that's how games like Unpacking become noticeable. Uh, by the by the industry as opposed to like far cry 5 which i don't know or whatever the last far cry game was far cry 6 which uh i hear was wasn't so hot was not quite hot but i think this is where i'm gonna stop for the night got any suggestions for someone to play next leave them down in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night